Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving in today's video 2 to the power of 2x plus 8 is equal to x to the power of x and we need to figure out the value of the x as an unknown in this question. So what we're going to do in here is that we're going to do the x root on each side of this equation and we know that would be basically 2 to the power of 2x plus 8 to the power of, we know if we have a square root of a, this will be equal to a to the power of one half and basically that applies for so if we call this m and this n we will have a to the power of m over n and here would we know the power of this is one so will be one over x and on the other side we'll have x to the x power of one so x to the x to the power of 1 over x we have one condition in here though and the condition is that our x cannot be 0 because that's going to make our denominator 0 which won't be acceptable for us so let's see what we get now we have 2 to the power of 2x plus 8 divided by x is equal to x to the power of 1 and from the left side we will have 2 to the power of 2x divided by x plus 8 over x is equal to x so the x in here will be cancelled out and we will have 2 to the power of 2 plus 8 over x is equal to x we know when we have a to the power of m plus n this will be a to the m times a to the n and this will be our m plus n so we will have 2 to the 2 times 2 to the power of 8 over x is equal to x so now in here we're gonna divide each side of the equation by 4 so on the left side we end up with 2 to the power of 8 over x and on the right side we will have x over 4 and the question is how we're going to find this. So we know on the right side this would be to the power of 1 and we have uh, the exponent of 8 over x and on the right side we have 1. So before we jump into any crazy ideas or doing logarithm on each side, let's just try one thing out and if it, and if it works, uh, that's great. But it's worth a shot to check it before that. So let's say if we have x over 4 which is what we have in here equals to 2 our x will be 8 and obviously when it's working for here it has to work in the exponent too and what we have on the exponent on the left side of the equation is 8 over x and this has to be equal to 1 and what we found from the previous step our x was 8 and if we put 8 in the equation we'll see that this is gonna work and that's great and we could figure out the answer and obviously our 8 is not equal to 0 which from the previous step we figure out that it shouldn't be 0 so all good we found the answer and yeah so like different trick just to be mindful of these things we can for just a simple way find the answer before we jump into crazy manipulations of the equation and um, yeah, that would be it for this one. Please let me know if you have any better strategy to find the answer for this one. Or if you have any questions, uh, drop it in a comment. I'd be happy to answer those questions. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.